Please introduce yourself. My name is Judy Suzuki. And tell me about your favorite medium. My favorite medium has been acrylics for many years now, simply because they dry quicker and I can layer colors, make changes quickly if I need to. When and why did you fall in love with this art form? I fell in love with this art form as a uh, young teenager. And it, I, I consider it art therapy for me because I had a rough, rough childhood. And I believe it helped me to uh, walk through many sad times. And uh, I just appreciate it in that way. And it, it still is kind of therapeutic for me. And um, so I hope to continue until I can't hold the brush anymore. Yes. How long have you been using this art form? Since the uh, early 70s. And how would you describe your art? Spontaneous, emotional, Sometimes, um, you know, I, I tend to stay in the realism, but I'm learning to have more fun with the paintings these days, not to be so serious with it. And for instance, the painting of, uh, of me in different skin tones. And I was inspired by a John Lennon song called Imagine and about world peace and people getting along. And I put myself in different skin tones just to put the message out like that. And uh, I had fun. Would you say that your personality is reflected in your art? I hope so. Uh-huh. Quietly serious and sometimes not. <laughs> What sets you apart from other artists in this art form? That's a good question. Hmm. I'm not sure how to answer that. I, I hope to keep trying different things and not just get stuck in one technique, um, one type of painting. I, I would like to experiment more with the realism, I mean, uh, surrealism and uh, some more abstract. Um, I have experience in uh, 3D sculptures. I, I have a lot that I would like to do in life before my expiration date. So I look forward to those uh, times when I get to create more. Right now, my life is a little bit crazy and uh, um, it's not going to be that way forever. So. Describe the favorite, your favorite piece of art you've ever created. I would say my first uh, self-portrait, and it was stolen out of the classroom. So I said to myself, don't get mad. Be grateful that somebody liked it so much that it was stolen. And it must have been good. <laughs> did you always want to be an artist? I did not know that I was an artist. I just created. And then that label came to me, Judy's an artist. So I didn't argue. Where do you find your inspiration? Everyday life, people, places, and things, nature. Other artists' work in inspires me. When, I, when I'm here doing my gallery hours, I get inspired by everybody. I do. So thank you, everybody. What is your favorite time of day to create? Nighttime. 
when everybody's asleep. I tend to do my best start uh, after midnight. I actually, I start around 10-ish. And uh, so I suffer the next day or two because I'll, I'll paint till you know, sometimes three, sometimes four, till I can't see straight. How do you develop your art skills? By practicing. I say that each, each painting, each artwork is my practice for the next one. So not to get too serious. And it's okay to keep changing it until I'm satisfied with it. How has your style developed or changed over time? I started out with a uh, photographic realism in portraiture. And I learned over time from, from other artists to loosen up more brush, more brush strokes. Um, when one instructor told me, if you're gonna paint photographic, why don't you just uh, put the brush down and take photos? So, <laughs> So I, I'm trying to, I try very hard to be more painterly, more brushy, yes. How do you know when a piece is done? That's a good question, again. When I feel good about what I see, that's when I put my brush down. Do you have favorite tools, um, materials, or techniques that you'd like to share? You know, uh, not really. I just use your basic uh, brushes. Um, I don't. I don't stick to any certain kind of brush. I sometimes I go to the hardware store and, and get those huge brushes for for slapping down colors, background. Um, I try to have, have in mind when I paint the soft edge, hard edge, the um, contrast and texture. And, uh, I, it's important that I don't forget what I learned in uh, different classes over time. But I think my job is to put those aside and just be creative from my heart and uh, not get so stuck on uh, techniques because that way it flows better, I think. What brings you the most joy? With art? To share my art with everybody, whether they like it or not, just uh, for people to see it, yes. What are you working on in the moment? I'm working on a horse on a round canvas. I'm also working on a couple of portraits. Actually, I, I have several portraits that I started and I haven't finished. There's a lot to be resolved on those. Uh, and I, I have a couple of commissions, um, one's a cat. And the other is um, about the band, the Rolling Stones, on a 30 by 40 canvas. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you think art is important to society? Oh, definitely. The world, there's a lot of pain and suffering in the world, and I, I believe art softens, softens things. I don't know that it makes pain go away completely, but uh, it has its therapeutic value, and I do believe that. Do you ever create art about or reflecting or um, making a statement in societal issues? I do. About racism? about hate and love, so uh, there's not enough love. And um, a lot of pain and suffering going on around the world, yeah. 
What advice would you give your younger self? My younger self? To keep having fun. And, uh, yeah, smile more. Thank you. Thank you.